Hi everyone, it's Frankie Gahi with Remax Omega here in Irvine, California. And thank you for visiting my video blog. If you're looking to buy a home, how do you know you're buying the right home? Before I start, I want to bring your attention to the two links on this page. If you're on the market to buy a home, you could click on the blue link to search for homes currently on the market. And if you are thinking of selling, you could click on the green link for home value report to receive a free market evaluation on your home. Generally, if you're looking to buy a home and you find a home in the neighborhood that you want, with number of bedroom and bathrooms that you want, with the price range that you want, that might be the right home. However, as most of you who've looked for a home have experienced, these are not the only factors. Other factors such as condition of the home, level and type of upgrade, the layout, uh, the lighting, and etc., 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 also uh, make a difference. These factors uh, make us feel a certain way about the home, and if we like the home enough, then we decide to put an offer on that home. Assuming the fundamentals, the basics of the search, the, the price range, the number of bedroom and bathroom, and the neighborhood, are the same among four or five homes that you see, how do you determine which home is the right home for you to buy? As a general rule, if a home meets 80% of your wants and needs, that should be the right home. It's very rare to come up with a home that meets 100% of a buyer's wants and needs. In evaluating which home is the right home for you, you should uh, make sure you are in the location that you want with the orientation that you want. Uh, make sure you uh, evaluate the price, look at all the comparables and consult with your realtor as to what is the best price you could get the property for. I would not recommend relying on estimates like uh, Zillow estimates or Zestimate. Uh, these estimates generally are not reliable. They are in most cases either way uh, overvalued, which may cause you pay more than what you should, or undervalued, which may leave an impression that the seller is asking too much and have you walk away from the property, which might be the right house. The other factor you also need to consider in, in, in deciding which house is the right house for you is the layout. Either it needs to have the layout that you want or easily be modified to the layout that you want. Cosmetics are important. If a house comes in with 100% of the cosmetics and upgrades that you want, great. However, if everything else is right about the house, don't let the cosmetics be the deciding factor. It's rare to find a home that meets 100% of your wants and needs. If a house meets 80% of your wants and needs, that, that is most likely the right house. Stay firm with your need list and be flexible with your wish list. Again, thank you for watching my video blog and remember, who you work with matters.